take your ratchet ass on somewhere. I'm, I'm done ratchet. with you. Yeah, I don't. Bitch, I don't I'm, from, I'm not from the hood. I'm not from the project. Bitch, you paying not even half of half of the rent. That's the thing. You think I needed you? That's no, why you treat me the way you do. I never thought you needed me. Yes, you do. If you could be a real bitch and be my friend, you should be like, Hazel. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you because you can't rap. I'm from Detroit, and I've been singing since I could talk. I got signed to Def Jam when I was 16, and um, debuted in the top five on the top 100 charts. I'm not signed to them anymore, no. They were doing cleanup, and I just so happened to be one of the artists that they cleaned up. So now I have to fight to make people see that I still breathe and I live music. Hazelie, and I used to be the number one publicist in the game. Thanks to me, a lot of people became stars. You would think that I got it made, or that was enough, but it isn't. I decided to pursue my real dreams of becoming a rapstress. I made a splash on the West Coast with Valley Girl, but 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 Valley Girl. But I'm still an underground rapper, and I'm still trying to make it big out here. But guess what? I'm in Hollywood, and I'm living my dreams. You looking cute, honey. You look cute, too. All right. <laughs> What's going on? We over here getting our little twinsies on. Hazel and I have been roommates for about two years now, but I haven't seen her in a while, nor have I seen my apartment, because I've been house-sitting for a friend. So today, we're going to take advantage of this infinity pool and this gorgeous view and catch up. I put some straws in there, too. So what's going on with you? Because I got so much that I'm just like, and it's the same that you already know about, you know, Ray. Ooh, what's going on with that? You know how we were and where we were. You were like, I don't need nobody. All I need is Ray. I was like, oh my God. Every woman has that one that she loves and will do anything for and will always go back to. Ray J is that one for me. You may know him from a couple songs, couple TV shows, hell, maybe a tape or two. But for me, Ray J is the man that I love. Like, for God's sake, I got the man name tattooed on the side of me. And I feel so stupid for not listening to you because I ain't talked to this mother in eight months. Ray and I had a relationship for at least nine years. You know, off and on. Ray got with somebody else. I saw that hoes pictures in his phone, and he caught a right hook, and you know, we haven't talked since then. You're still hurt. Oh, I'm still hurt. I haven't even been with anybody else. Oh my God, eight months later, girl, you got it bad. Like, for real, you got it bad. I mean, I love Ray J. And the part that hurts the most is I had to find out through blogs and pictures on the internet that he was booed up with another woman. Right. Let me put 10 on 20. Okay, so all my stuff is over there. Right. He moves the bitch in with no Christian like Dior bag, pagals. Not that Christian Dior at the left. Yes, there is, girl, that's the news. So I'm gonna send him a text, and I'm just gonna be like, you know, can you just man up and meet with me? Right. You know what I'm saying? And bring me my things. We gonna toast to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, there's no logos up. The party's gonna start. Everybody's outside Why waiting. We'll find a laptop. Nobody's ever on. I'm the only one that ever does anything. Finally, it's the night of the RayJ.com launch party. Normally, I work great under pressure, but tonight, it's a little different, because I got a lot of important people coming out tonight, and I kind of want to impress them. You know, it's a big night for me. It's a big night for RayJ.com. I got my girl with me. I got everybody that I got love for coming through. So let's just hope it turns out to be a great night. Listen, the last thing that I want to do is go to a party celebrating Ray J. 
did tell me that his girl threw my things away. So, I'ma need a check. I want a drink. We already had like 10 drinks. Like, I want to eat lemon. Did you drink. want to I like want to eat lemon. But I wanted you to come because you feel like you had some more to say. I do, so. but not right now. I want to eat lemon drink. No, my God. Oh, Lord, it just got hella intense. I hear Tierra behind me. What is this, the 11th drink she's ordering? And I'm just like, why does she have to come? I really didn't want her here. I sent the invite out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what it is. So Princess is standing next to me, and she found a bag that belonged to Tierra, and I guess she decided to take pictures of what was in there. There it is, right there. <laughs> BB capsule, okay. by the cell. Oh, whose name is that right there on the boarding pass? 3A, you a first class with that stinky? <laughs> It's like a bag of coochie creams and receipts and old plane tickets and Parmesan cheese. Uh, All right. Hey. Thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for inviting me. Yeah. You look amazing. Black tea, black hat. No. I didn't think you was going to come. But I did want to say this to you. I wanted to say, like, you know, the last time I talked to you, you told me that your girl threw it away. So I just want to say, like, a check needs to be cut. A check? Most of that in that bag I pay for. Now you want me to cut you a check? Stop. Go shopping already. Are you for real? Oh, I'm positive. Right, you keep like. You threw my away. I'm like, thanks for coming. You threw my away. Did you Is that not? What was in the bag? Did you not? No, this ain't got nothing to do with you, babe. Is that what was in the bag? Bang, bang, bang. No, that's. Yeah, it was. Well, okay. So wait, 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 wait. Did you leave this? Did you leave that? Did you leave? Bitch! Back up a taste, ho. Maybe I had the coochie cream because my was your dirty ass. since all the drama at the RayJ.com party. As pissed off as I am with Morgan and Ray, I have to give it to Hayes. She had my back, she's been my rock through this whole situation, and she was right there turning up with me. I gotta respect that. I just wanted to apologize, first of all, for putting you in that position to have to turn up on somebody. But first of all, you ain't gotta apologize because at the end of the day, like, we sisters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We need to put these in their place. Oh, honey, honey, I've been feeling like that. Well, I think the first step, one, is you got this little Ray J on your titty uh, moment. You know, maybe it's about time to go ahead and get covered on up. When Ray and I were together, I thought we would be together forever. So I got his name tattooed on my body. And obviously, that wasn't a good idea. So maybe Hayes is right. It's time to get him x out of my life and off of my body. So I'm going to keep it real cute, and I'm going to get this up off of me. So we're going to have a tattoo party. So TT wants to have a tattoo party, and I'm down. Finally, she's gonna go ahead and put Ray J in her past. I mean, I don't know how she's dealt with that situation for so long. But honestly, who am I to talk? We know how Berg pulls on my heartstrings. Girl, okay, so I went to the studio, you know what I'm saying, to um, meet up with uh, youngin' Berg. Like, Were you guys again? You know, he came back around, and we had, you know, a good little moment or two. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I just don't man. think that he respects you enough. He's so damn cute, though. Like, that cute. If Bird cared about Hayes on that level, he would treat her in another manner. So as much as it may hurt her, she needs to hear that. She needs to know that he's just not that into you. Like, seriously, on some real come. Because he don't give a about you, and I refuse to sit here and let you think that it's anything other than that. I'm a little confused why Tierra has so much to say about my relationship when she's still rocking a tattoo of a dude that she hasn't even spoken to in eight months. At the end of the day, it's my relationship with Berg, and I gotta handle things my way. He knows me, like, we know each other. Like, I can't explain. This is not something that happened I get over the history, this but when he's trying to pursue term. someone else, he doesn't give a f that's what you gotta keep in your head. And don't let them put a wool over your eyes and don't let them you over. So after all the stress, drama, and heartbreak, I'm finally ready to put Ray J behind me. So I invited Hayes, her girlfriend Masika, and a couple of my other friends to witness me get Ray's name removed from under my breast. 
Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, I sh to myself. This it hurts like crazy. But it's not nearly as painful as being left destitute and in the cold by the man you love. Now, I feel like a new me. Ray J's in the past. Time to celebrate me, because I've been living for somebody else for way too long. So she's getting her closure. What's going on with you? Berg is like a child, too, and that's why he can't control his emotions or actually dedicate himself to one person. All I really want from him, honestly, at the end of the day, see who's in your corner. All of them. This is about my closure. I just got a tattoo. Yes, you did. To close my whole situation. You, you know what? You and Berg, it's cute, but y'all ain't even got enough situation. You ain't got right. his name tattooed on you. So can well, we I would never do that, though. I would never put a name not. tattooed on me. I know Hazel didn't just try to come for me in my tattoo. What, you mad that I said that your relationship with Berg is fake? My relationship with Ray and her non-existent relationship with Berg does not even compare. Okay, hey, then that's fine. Like so can we bash like, Don't head. come at me like it's I'm not. not. Well, I'm right. just saying oh, I would never get his name tattooed oh, on me. Oh, so okay. And that's, that's okay. okay. You, you oh, only oh, ever oh, gotten to, bitch. Don't ever try to judge me about it. Bitch, don't come at me like that. I don't give a who you got up in this mother. What you did? Ray, you had all this stuff. Oh my God. If you gonna come to my party and disrespect me and ruin my whole shit, then I'm gonna return the favor to you. Now ain't nothing in this box but some dirty ass and some feminine products. But if you want it, here it is. Why are you trying to cut really? it up? Why are you no, trying to I'm not. Why are you, why are you doing trying to that? Why are you gonna come in here doing that bull to me and I'm gonna come in here doing that bull? Did I do anything to you? First off, you're gonna come to my party and disrespect me. I ain't disrespect you. Your girl disrespected me. Are what? you kidding me? You came to my party and told me I owed you a check. Last like, time I spoke to you, you told me your girl threw my shit away. But what I'm saying so is, why can't we have a kind of conversation a outside of the party? I was talking to you. It was a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Listen, I brought you your shit back. Whatever you wanted, your monostat, your BV, uh, whatever the you had in the bag, I got it. It's right there. I'm That I've been through with you, Ray. You want to wash up in here and humiliate me like this? It's on. Bitch ass. <laughs> the way this is happening, I feel like I got dropped off in a battlefield. Stop. Let me go. Every I'm time Tierra gets mad or gets loaded, she always want to snuff somebody. And that's exactly why we're not together right now. Get your ass out of here. Don't go I'm home. not going to get no go women. Home. Go home. You want to lie. OK. Yo, stay, bitch. got into it tonight, but that don't mean I'ma let some dumbass has been come up in here and turn up on my girl. Yeah. Honestly, I'm trying to get this knucklehead out of this tattoo party, and I'm hoping Tierra can't find something else to throw at his ass. You a bitch! You a bitch! <laughs> While you kiss my butterfly Like lately, I'm just a magnet to everything hurtful and negative that Ray J has to offer. And after all of the craziness at the tattoo party, I pretty much have locked myself in a recording studio. What better way to mend my heart than to transfer all my feelings into music? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's take a break. Yo, yo, it's good. <laughs> Yeah. I popped in on TT at the studio because we definitely need to talk. Things are just getting more and more uncomfortable between us. And I think it's time for us to clear up a couple things. I really uh, had a chance to talk to you since the tattoo party. It got a little cry up in that bitch. It got very cry. Before all the Ray J even happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to tell you about my situation with Berg. I wanted to vent to you and the other people that were there, you know what I'm saying? So I just felt like, you know, that wasn't the time or place. You was making it about you, and it was 
about me in that moment. The whole reason that we put the tattoo party together was for me to get the tattoo removed. Listen, everything has a time and a place. And that night was about me getting Ray's name removed off of me. And Hazel tried to make it about her and Berg. I just don't understand what she doesn't get about that. At that moment, I needed you to be a friend and support me. And at that moment, I needed you to be a me. friend. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you expect me to but be what, that what, friend, but okay. I feel like you know so how what to do you that think I was back sometimes. Okay. Like, through this friendship, through this relationship, it's all it's always about Tierra. Really? Like, half the time, like, when you drinking, when you not sober, whatever, you don't even remember what happened. I'm still a good friend to you. Before you even live with me, I could have stayed yeah. where I was, okay? Yeah. What did I say? Yeah, I'm not but, roommate material. Yeah. You was like, okay, cool. I'm always sitting there listening to you, giving you encouragement, and you know that. But, like, every time I bring up the situation with Berg, like, I feel like it's kind of like a joke to you. Like, girl, that doesn't equate to what happened with me and Ray. And it's kind of like, how does it equate? I, I think that on? it doesn't equate because it's not a relationship. I'm his bitch. And you're his friend. Ever. And that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm his bitch, but like, for real, like, I'm like his bitch. Like, but do you think like, that you're like regardless his girlfriend? Of what, it, no, it doesn't have to be girlfriend, boyfriend. So what is it? I don't get it's it. It's everything. It's no title on it. How do I explain that to you? Okay. And I don't want nobody ever undermining me and him because me and him, like. I just don't get it. But that's just me. Okay, I mean, I get it. Like, like, I'm just don't get it. I understand. I'm tired of this. Like, for Ew. real. Tierra's last blow up, I decided it's probably time for me to make some moves. I mean, it's been two years. I think it's time for me to get my own space. I'm tired of hearing about my up relationship. Worry about your own relationship. Yeah, me and Berg have some issues, but damn, I thought a friend was supposed to hold you down when you're going through stuff, not kick you at every given opportunity. Hello chances, hello time. Good morning to the reason, the rhythm refined. Good luck to the future, goodbye to the past. Good night to all the people who can kiss my ass. I've been watching her drink way too much. And honestly, I think it's changing her as a person. She used to be my rock, and now she's turned into this selfish, violent person, and I ain't got time for that. It's not healthy for me to even be around her anymore. So I found a place, signed a lease, and I'm out of here. It's sad, but it's about time. that tattoo party or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like it just went OD to the next level. Okay. That's Honest fine. Stuff. Pack it and you can do what okay, you well, do. Here's your, here's your key. Return it to the front desk. I have mine. You fraud. I'm fraud? Yep. This fraud ass bitch has lived with me for the past two years for little to nothing. And this is how you repay me? By secretly packing and moving out? Who does that? A talentless, classless, two-faced bitch. That's who does it. Take your paper towel and whatever little things you have and go on. To have a conversation. You're being very fraud. How am I being fraud? I'm trying to have a real moment with you. It's not a real moment to be had. I'm listening to all the hateful things coming out of her mouth, and I know moving out is the right decision. I I don't know if she's just mad or if this is how she really feels, but I do know it's time to bounce. Take your ratchet ass on somewhere. I'm, I'm done ratchet. with you. Yeah, I don't. Bitch, I'm, I'm, not from, I'm not from the hood. I'm not from the project. Bitch, you paying not even half of half of the rent. That's the thing. You think I needed you? That's no, why you treat me I the way you do. You yes, you do. Yes, you do. If you could be a real bitch me, and be babe. my friend, you should be like Hazel. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you because you can't rap. You don't know about music, but you still. to not get out this car and slap some sense into this hoe. At the end of the day, she lost her only fan and her only friend, and she knows she's wrong. Get the out the car, bitch, bitch, get out! Come see me then if you want to. Come see me. What up, though? Come get on. Get your ass out of here with ho. your bad built That's ass. Like you can't get some from a layup. You're a hoe. F you, hoe. OK. Slow down on the liquor. Hey, you do it with me, bitch! Stop everybody's men. Maybe you have a friend. 
Thank you, Ho. We are here to celebrate the unveiling of our billboard for Ace of Diamonds. I'm here to introduce to you the face of Ace. of Ace of Diamonds, who's unveiling the billboard of his new club in Vegas. My parents own the property that the building sits on, so I thought I would show my pretty face. But the face, or rather the naked, flat ass I'm looking at, belongs to that hoe, Masika. Bitch, is that Masika? Not only that, I was there when that rat took the pictures, and she never said a thing. If this bitch thinks I'm gonna let her face grace the entry of my family's property, then she must not know me at all. It's Masika Kalisha. <laughs> around and have a cocktail at the bar. I got to see all these fraud fake ass hoes in the same room. I ain't even seen Tierra since I moved out the apartment. And the fact that she's kicking it with Masika now, it's like these bitches deserve each other. Pop champagne! So I'm gazing through the crowd and whose face do I see other than that plastic cabbage patch Nicki Minono looking bitch? <laughs> I'm kinda glad that you're here though so I can see the look on your face when you find out that my face is plastered all over mommy and daddy's building. Oh, pick your face up off the floor, sweetie. I see Hazel standing over there in all of her fraudness. And to be honest, I don't have two words to say to her. Besides, I'm here with Nikki, and this reunion between Molly's two girls should be way more interesting than anything that Hazel E's crater face ass has to say. Well, hello. Congratulations. Thank you. You look absolutely that was, gorgeous. That was a surprise, bitch. Thank you for coming. <laughs> hello. So you guys had a little trick up your sleeve. When I walked in your photo shoot, you were doing it for my club? But that's my club. Put it on the landlord. Your, your parents are the landlord. I can get you off the billboard, you can't, too. No, you can't. You don't understand I'm so the here's boss. The thing. You're not the boss. I work no. for the club. You work daddy's credit card. Well, well, well. It looks like the backstabber Masika got more problems than just me. If they were here, they'll be the boss. Well, I'm Isn't the boss. it Miss Boomerang? I just threw her out and she came back. First of all, pause. You know I can't pass up an opportunity to go and mix things up. What up, TT? I haven't seen you since the move out. And what's crazy is, like, word on the streets. It's some crazy Like, we might have had our issues, but I never thought we would, like, go behind each other on a Well, first party. of all, I'm not Burke's boo. Oh, so, no, like, I was like, TT could no way be doing that. Well, no, you that. actually said that's what Tierra's known for, so she could be doing it, but I hope she wouldn't. Actually, why don't you see your way out this conversation? Because I don't really see what this is. Well, why did you see I your way back see in the club after I told you to leave? what me and Tierra have anything to do with you. Hold up, wait a minute. I want to know what the f*** you been saying to this bitch about me. Right, because you're a bum bitch. You f*** everything in these streets. You're a sex addict. You're known to f*** everybody's man. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're an alcoholic. You're a drunk bitch. You need rehab. And, uh, and a whole bunch of stuff. And a really? Whole bunch of stuff. That's just the story. She's life. making half the <laughs> up. Which half? You know what? It's one thing to hear all the trash talking that Hazel did to Berg. They were in an argument and she let loose. I get that. But for this mother bitch to run to Masika and Kiki about my news, that's crossing the line. I don't even know Masika. This is a person that I've lived with and I considered a fucking friend. Bitch, you must have lost your complete mind. You're making yourself look like a fool. I'm not fucking Berg. I don't want to f Berg. What more do you want to hear? I believe in the code. You know rule number but one. But you believe you in the code, you would have told me when you was actually, actually, rule, actually, that's not. If you would have never turned up on me in the house, I would have had no reason but to hate about. So don't talk about a code right now, because if you want to take it back one. to me moving the out the house, then you're taking it back to say, Tierra, we don't f with each other no more. So you're not his boo? You're and, mad about and, it. And, and she don't want, I don't and, want, okay, and don't so want you. Shut the up, man. You want your mouth. I had so. your back in the Ray J situation, T. You said he was frauding you out. You said you didn't. He is frauding me out. And Bert frauding me out, too. So why don't you understand that? Why do I get to have your back and you don't have mine? Straight up. Stop. Straight up, T. Why did what you the do it? do you want to hear? Why did you do it? Because I like the record. And that's you. Good luck. So all my fraud ass fake ex friends want to join together against me? I don't need none of y'all hoes in my life. I'm out. To who? Good luck. Oh, bye. Seriously, where's the damn security? Watching Berg's harem explode was fun. I didn't even get to say everything I wanted to say to that hoe Masika, but I think Hazel was everything she could handle for one night. Never fear though, I'll have my moment. Raggedy ass in this mother. 
But I want my brother Bird to come up. I want you to cut the cake, man. Clap for my brother Bird, man. Let's get it. That's right, Hazel. I'm feeding cake to your man who was never your man. And stay tuned, because I have some more for you to eat tonight. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I got one of my best friends in the world, Masika, with me, you know, and like, she's amazing. Masika, I love you. I love you too. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so last week, TT was Berg Boo. Now he's in love with Masika? Really? Is he gonna smash his way through all the bitches that have done me wrong? Whack ass. What up, TT? Hey, Masika. You're looking so lovely. Thank you. Hi. I just wanna say happy birthday to one of my very good friends, one of my closest friends. Um, we've been friends for a long time now, but tonight I am your date. So. Oh, damn. Happy birthday, Is that what's going on? So, although this is Bert's birthday, he actually gave me a gift. So this is a record that he and I are doing. But for now, I just want to say, happy birthday, Bertie. <laughs> Love you, baby. Turn up, turn up, turn Got me doing things that I said I'm gonna do. Got me going hey. in things. Crazy old I'm about you. to literally like throw up in my mouth watching that display between Masika and Bird. But now I gotta stop and pause because this bitch finna sing a song. I know good damn well that bitch ain't finna sing on my record. Already know. We can set the Okay, so I'm pissed the f off. We got one or two options. I'm either gonna bum rush that stage and tackle this hoe, or I'm gonna embarrass this bitch and let everybody know whose record that really belongs to. I've been the real one since day one. You gotta honor that. Yeah, the hoe from here when the gold digger fade away. Hey, I said I wanna be with you. Huh. What is that? What's going on here? What's in my ears? this fake ass bitch Masika come to the studio as I'm pouring my heart out on this record. And this is how she repays me? So you didn't like my record, so you gave it to the bitch that you said don't holler at. That's one of my best friends. She's your best friend? You tried to get violent with me, like you went crazy you on me. You got violent with me, you threw my bag all across the street. I thought we were friends at the end of the day. I think our friendship went out the window okay. with your first. You've been betraying this whole thing, like me and you are something that Betrayed. we're totally not. It's what we me and you are not nothing. We were friends. We're not Stop fronting and stop frauding in these streets. You're coming to my party with this type of energy. Like, you could have at least dressed in all white. Like, you could have at least, least not given a f because you know well, I you could have stayed your ass at home. I'm here. God bless. So, God bless. Okay, God bless. I could go. I could go. Yeah, it means nothing. Do you get it now, Hazel? I'm here with another woman. I gave your song away, Hazel. All I want to do is pop bottles, go crazy, hang out with my baby, and not worry about basic ass like Hazel E. Why are you being so rude? What's the problem? Why, why, are you being, why are you being so rude? I know you hear me on the side of your face talking. You have so much to say at my party. They have nothing to say at Berg's party. All I'm trying to do is give myself a woosa because I don't want to have to go to jail tonight if I pop this bitch. Were you not in the studio listening to me going in for that record? Now it's your record? Whatever you call it. It's like fraud.com. It's not where you are. One more time. One more time. One more time. Go with your boo. Go with your boo. Not too long ago, Hazel thought it was okay for her to roll up on my conversation at Masika's billboard party, so I'm just following her lead. Go back to the cave where you at, baby. You're so fraud that you got you, bitches who's actually you, rocking you, together yo, yo. all turned up against yo, each other. Yo. You're really listen, 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 and I put the party together, so everybody needs to chill the What are you talking about? Now here comes Deacon Sincere's fat ass. I haven't seen him since I had to sneak him for being rude after my performance. You haven't had enough of me, Sincere? Everybody chill out. We need to position. Since you want to turn up for no motherfucking reason, turn up. Hey, hey, turn up. Ain't nobody on my way, motherfucker. I need to Because y'all come in here causing drama and I put the party together. Y'all over here arguing and we ain't got time for that, yo. And we gonna get back to party. All this time I've been mad at Tierra for dogging my relationship with Berg, but come to find out, she was right all along. Damn, like, that's what I've been going through with his ass that you actually been warning me about for the last couple months. Like, that was my record. I mean, that like, was 
get my, it right there. And, like, I, that and, was and I know it has to crazy. feel weird. It is. You straight? It is, it is. You straight? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, just making sure you straight. I came nice. with you, so I told you I had your back. I know. What's up, T? Whatever. Let me talk to her real quick. Let me talk to her real quick, since okay. you in my presence. Maybe we should take it outside. All right. Brought us some iced coffee to the peace offering. Oh, thank you. What's in it, poison? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. So I would love to squash the beef with me and TT. I reached out, and surprisingly, she agreed to link up. The other night was crazy. Yeah, like, with all the Berg stuff going on, he want to take records back, do all the fraud stuff that my friends did warn me about. That's why at his party, I was like, I don't even know why I'm mad at these bitches, because you the worst them all. You know he ain't never been your man. Never. He was definitely filling my head with the dreams and the sun and the moon and the stars. Yeah, and, and, I mean, and everybody want to act like I'm just so delusional behind Berg. It's like Berg plays a part in my delusion. Yeah. You know, when I saw you at the um, Masika's little strip club billboard uh, situation, you know, I had already went there to holler at her about all this Instagram posts and stuff with Berg. So I was already kind of like turned up. Things went from zero to 100 real quick, like they always do. You know, we got to figure this thing out because at the end of the day, we're both hurt. We've both done, you know, up things. Every time we got around each other, it was just like, I felt like we was going to kill each other every single time we met. And it was like, you know what? We probably just need some space from each other. Up until me moving out, things were just crazy. And that's why I say I will, you know, apologize for how I did things and how, you know what I'm saying, I left the situation without giving notice. I would have been happy for you to move out on your own, but you just left and if you were having issues with me, you should have addressed me and just told me, like, Titi, this is not healthy for me. I just felt like even, like, on top of you moving out, everybody is coming to me telling me that you're saying certain things about me. At the time, my feelings were hurt. I was like, damn, she would go, you know what I'm saying, be knackered in the studio with this and he you his boy and stuff if he said that he said that to piss you off and you got pissed off it worked you got all these beef over this who's not even your man and he don't give a and i told you from the beginning that yeah i could have listened to my bitches but you know me i wear my heart on my sleeve and i just wanted my friend just to have my back a little bit more i apologize if you know what i'm saying like i hurt you from Talking, you know what I'm saying? Some a secret or whatever, venting. Yeah, you did. But I still needed you to be a friend to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just... I also want you to know that you hurt me too. Like, I'm not made of steel. I don't know if you want to repair this friendship, but it's like I want you not even to do the record with Bird. Like, I know it's like almost like an ultimatum to. To say, but and that's like, absolutely absurd to me. You know what I'm saying? That and if you were my friend and I have a hot record, you should support that. But that record was like out of spite. It How was, was that out of spite, baby? If that it record wasn't is, out of spite for you. It was out of spite speaking. for him. I don't care. That re record is speaking to something inside of me, okay? And you should understand that. And if that's what you want, that's not gonna happen. I would do it for you. That's the difference between me and you, Hazel, because I wouldn't ask you to do that. It's done. It's signed. It's sealed, and it's delivered, Hazel. So I'm not going to take that back. And I hate that you, you would base us moving on off of that. That's up to me. You didn't think about me when you moved out and left me high and dry. And if those are your conditions for us to move forward, honey, bye. I have my hands full. I find myself caught in between my ex who tried to destroy me on one side and the girl who took him from me on the other side. I realize that there's someone out there who used to be a real friend that I can't afford to let go of. Hello. Hi, how are you? When Sierra hit me up to go have drinks, I was a little shocked. But she did reach out regarding my grandfather's funeral, and I appreciate that, but I figured, I guess I can go and meet her. Maybe I can finally get some closure to this Berg situation once and for all. How are you? You know how it is, like, when death happens, yes. you realize how short life is. Like, first I want to say thank you 
for reaching out and everything. But where we left off was on this whole fun size situation. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that's some harsh allegations that, you know, were brought, were brought upon you. So imagine and, how I feel. And it's just like the relationship was inappropriate. Like, okay, as far as the record goes, that's a whole nother story. But if you think that I got on my mother knees in an alley with sticks, stones, and debris, you crazy as hell. I knew TT would never admit to going down on Berg. And quite frankly, I still don't believe it. And even though I'm beyond over that little boy, I just wish she could finally own up to her and be real about the situation. The fact that it's even allegations on you fun size up or whatever in the alley, it's just absolutely crazy to me. But Berg is a liar, Hazel. Why he's a liar, can't you but see you, that? No, he, he lied to you. He is a liar and he lied to you. Okay, so and we, we, lied we on can you both say either which one it we was. We can both say that he's a liar. Right. We okay. can agree on that. Okay, so to move on, I, what is to move on? Because we can't keep going back well, here. Well, I mean, because I ain't going to say nothing different and, and you ain't going to feel nothing what, different. And that's what I'm saying. That's the whole point of right now. What is the point? Exactly. I just want you to be able to admit like, okay, what I did, whatever the situation was with him was inappropriate. And I can say that I'm wrong and for a, how, you know, I befriended him. I am wrong for that. Thank so you. I give you that. Thank you. I, I don't have a problem with giving you that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just real I don't know if me and Tierra could ever be as tight as we used to be or if I could ever trust her again. But for now, I'm going to put this in the rear view. Wrong is wrong, right wrong is right. Wrong is wrong, right is right. And I won't ooh. cross boundaries with you, and I ask for you to do the same. If we could do that, we can move on. All right. And we could trust each other again. You ain't got no other friend like me, and you know that. And you and know that, that too. Okay, right. so that's okay. what I'm saying. So, All right. That's what I'm saying. So you would never find a bitch right. like TT. Right or not. <laughs> you know she crazy, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you crazy too, so, in your own way. Yeah, so, I have so, my, own, my own cuts too. You right, know what so what I'm saying is, let's not cross boundaries with each other, and we can move forward. And that's being two adults about the situation, you know what I'm saying? But we have to be adults. It's a cold world out here, honey. It is, it's Hollywood, strict as me, baby. Everybody looking for their next come up. No, they tried it. They tried yeah. it. And we can cheers to my we can Cheers to that then. Okay. I just got a call that Hazel was in an ATV accident in Dubai. She just got home from emergency surgery and is in need of some love. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Good, how are you? Milan. Nikki, nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. She's upstairs, so we probably need to head upstairs. Okay, yeah, let's do that. All right. A group of her friends are gathering around to lend her some support because I heard it was really bad and I really don't know what to expect. TT, hey, how are you, baby? Thank you. Oh, how are you feeling? I'm surviving. I'm alive. I'm so Thank happy you. you're doing okay. You're not that bruised, you know? I mean, we gotta see when it come off, what the results gonna be. They, um, out the, out the gate, see? It went in all the way through. What happened exactly? I was out in Dubai, riding around, getting it turned up, think I'm the princess of Dubai, you know? Right. I was out there. And my ass thought I was just like making a turn, trying to get away. Boom, straight right dead off the cliff, right into the handlebars. And oh. I like blacked out for a little second, but like I feel my nose is mush. Mm. All they could do was put ice on it so they could get a vehicle, because we're an hour and a half outside Ooh. of Dubai. We had to go into a CAT scan because they wanted to see the head trauma and what was actually like broken. So that's when the doctor says, we have 48 hours to get to America to save her nose, if not, her nose is dead. So wow. it was 16 hours that I had to fly with a concussion and a bloody, broken nose. I was in an IV and was out four hours, and they saved my nose. That's crazy, because on the blogs, when I found out, it was like, he was trying to cover up getting a nose job. Right. I'm like, she would never Who do would nothing like that. Who would go to Dubai to get a nose job? Right. I'm too real to go and have to fake a near-death accident right. to get a nose job. Yeah. And the things that like hurt me the most was like the people that I was there with. It was like no compassion. Like nobody held my hand. Nobody was like, you gonna be okay. I look like a monster. Hey, it's I can't cry. You don't look like a monster, but I can do. Like, no, you don't. It's just. Oh, this is, this is how 
we make our money, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You're gonna to be me. fine. You're gonna be fine. I almost died out there, and I know I'm still in shock, but I can't seem to stop thinking about how this is gonna affect my career. In Hollywood, it's all about how you look, and nobody's more aware of that than me. It's so hurtful that people and the blogs believe everything that they hear or that they read in social media, even if it's not true. We all know my insecurities about my nose, how much on social media they call me ugly. I look like Ernest goes to jail. My nose was a trending topic for four weeks. Like You can't feed into that. Not even at all. They say all types of She's like plastic. They I'm say, sad. yeah. You are, like, come on. They say I look like a man. I'm Michael Jackson's sister. Girl, you cannot re read, that. Re read that stuff. That stuff will destroy you as a person. It's just people who don't have, like, no lives just trying to just bring you down. You just can't even feed into that energy. I already wanted a new nose. I didn't think it was my time for it yet. Well, it was. God I had another plan. We might have built a bridge and got across it. Yeah. But I know I never slept with my best friend's ex-boyfriend. Oh my God. I know for a fact that that has never happened for me, which is the rule number one that you don't do. No, but okay, everybody so has done. Ain't nobody perfect in this room. So cute. Listen, I love how listen, cute these bitches listen, are. Listen, listen. They're so I came here to prepare for a fashion show with Nikki, but instead I got four fake ass wannabes taking sides against me. And Hazel, I was by your side when your nose almost fell off from your accident in Dubai. And you repay me by bringing up some old ancient ass young bird Really? You talk to Hazel, you talk to Nikki, so of course you're gonna respect them in their place. As she should, because we've given her no reason to disrespect us, unlike you. You have given her reason to disrespect you, because you disrespected her by going back to her man and doing some fraud shit. Just like you disrespected me and being friends with Masika, just like you disrespected Nikki by getting in her face and doing some fraud shit. Molly, you disrespect everybody. I didn't come into this event with ill intentions. I just wanted to help my freaking friends with the fashion show. But got real, and it's like, hold on. Pause for a minute. Let me go ahead and check your ass, because I actually haven't done that yet. You with the wrong bitch, Miss Tierra Marie. I'm not the one, honey, and I'm calling a mother spade a spade, bitch, and you the queen hoe. That's the point that you don't understand, and that's what you really need to get together right now. No, it that's can't what be you all need to get us. together. It that's has to be you. Own it. So what about it? So what about it? Why you so hyped up? Why are you so hyped up? I'm not, because you keep talking Yeah, you're talking to me. I'm steady. No, you're not. I'm loyal to the end. You're not loyal to the end, because you want to be killed. I'm not going to be loyal to you. Now you're switching up as soon as I get in your face. No, because you are not so damn don't act like you Listen to Tierra talk about loyalty has got me laughing my ass off. This is starting to get fun, and I just need my popcorn, because this is one hell of a show. Woo, T -T. Hey, you should keep it cute. Yeah. <laughs> Hear me roar. King Kong, King T in this bitch. F you. You're a fake ass bitch. I f was your friend. Since when were you my friend when you were f***ing Berg in the alley, or when you were being friends with all, I never f***ing Berg. Maybe not f***ing thing, maybe f***ing him on the couch. Girl, ain't nobody Nobody. All of this alley talk is just nasty. It's time that these ladies get over this little boy drama, put on their big girl panties, and start worrying about this fashion show. Does anybody remember that? You the one who was being a dumbass hoe when you knew this wasn't yours in the first place. So let's keep it all the way funky, ho. Think you were for tracks? No, bitch. For do tracks. what you're good at, boo. Bitch, do what you're good at. What are you good at? I'm just gonna walk her out. Yeah, though. way to go I'm with your bitch out. ass. You f***ing pray to face, oh, big nose, bitch. I hope your nose falls off. You f***ers on my nose, wrist. bitch. F*** you. Oh, I hope you mother broke that hoe. Oh, I'm gonna give a f*** about that, bitch. Rest in peace, Tierra Marie. Goodbye. I keep letting this pickle nose bitch back into my life, and she keeps crossing me. I do not know what the deal is. But today, I'm here to find out. I'm picking off these bitches one by one. Tierra constantly violates the girl code. Now she has to deal with me in real life. It really got bad a couple years ago. She knew I was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over whack ass young Berg. And not only does she do a track with him, she s his for the track. Typical industry host. I'm not Berg. I don't want to Berg. Why do I get to have your back and you don't have mine? Straight up, T. Over and over and over again. Tier constantly violates the code. So guess what, bitch? You kicked the side, so now stay there. So what's up? I just, I, I can't figure it out with you, Tier. I can't figure it out with you either, boo. Never know how to have a friend's back. You have these girl code ethics I that are one-sided. 
Yeah. Girl code ain't, it's got money. Look we're preds, we're choppers, we're Maseratis. Oh. I live this life. You're a scam artist. You yes. live off credit card fraud. Yes. So how do I live off credit card fraud? Let's pull up that. Oh, you're upset about Let's that one? Oh, you're upset about that one? You were homeless and destitute. That's what you were. I'll take starting at homeless, because look at this. Look at this. Stand up. Where's your waistline? Where's your waistline? Right here, honey. Oh. And the space could never get that Money. naturally, boo boo. It's never. Pay never. I'm not going to chase I don't know what the you wanted to talk about. Everything about this little Hollywood persona that Hazel is trying to present is fake. She doesn't own anything, she rents everything. Girl, bye. We know that your dream is always to walk in Chanel to get a $10,000. Girl, you achieve that dream? That's Chanel certified cards, bitch. Where your cards at? Bring your cards out, honey. You look turned down. Bitch, look at your crater face ass. Are you kidding me? You guys are you so miss Nikki mad. Baby knock -off. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. That's, that's what you want to be. So stop it with your shenanigans. Exactly what I'm talking about with Tierra. Either chaos follows you or you're starting it. And I can't be associated with your raggedy ass anymore. Bitch, I'm glad that my back costs more than her mother life. Out of here. I was gonna say, where's my crab? But I guess I threw that. <laughs> Okay. Hi, sweetheart, baby. I work so hard. I hope you love it. Of course, I love it. I always knew you were going to be a boss, just like your mom. It ended up turning out really nice. Hey, friend. See, see. Congratulations. Hi, Hi. Look at my baby. Hi, Hi girl. girl. Oh, of course. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. I wanted to get TT and Hazel together to bury their beef. But I'm already concerned. She seems that she has everything under control, but I'm concerned that she really doesn't. I just want Tiara to try to control her temper better because I don't want to see her get into a situation that she can't get herself out of. Mm. How you been, TT? I've been good, Mom. Keeping busy, you know, working on my music. You have a beautiful voice. You're a beautiful girl. Be right back. I'm going to grab something. Oh, my God. The way Hazel's strutting around, you think Beyonce just walked up in here. I'll try to stay away from Hazel out of respect for Nikki and Nikki's mom, but this bitch better keep her mouth shut. You know Tiara's here? Mm, the late and good. I wanted you to have a conversation with her. Because, you know, girl code ain't, that's what you stand for. I'll keep it cute for you, okay. baby. I feel like both Hazel and Tiara have their issues from the outside world. And I feel like I can help them see that they have such a close relationship and that they're letting something petty come in between them. TT, I brought Hazel. I wanted you guys to have a conversation. Okay. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? I mean, I don't know. Last time I saw you, you threw a plate of food at me. Because you try to walk away, and we know how I feel about so when people are disrespectful. So we supposed to get physical now? You deserve physical for all the stuff that you've done. Uh-huh. I'm ready. I'm ready. wasn't the best idea, but I do feel like these two can find some common ground and apologize to each other. It's not worth it. This is she's not this worth it. Right. Stop. Look, she's trying to be the person. People, one day they're with you, one day they betray you. If you let it get to you, it will drive you to addiction. It will drive you to destruction. Can I get another shot, please? This is exactly what I thought would happen. Sierra, she's running at me like a demon with her head chopped off. Yo, pull it together, sis. Tighten up. God gives us sometimes. I wish she situations. Reach out with you to do missions. Just stop telling me what I wish I wouldn't do, bitch. I wish, I wish, I wish. I wish we would run up. <laughs> And I don't think she wants to admit it. Listen, you guys both feel some type of way. Y'all don't need to be doing this. Yeah. I'm gonna take a chunk out of her face. We always talk about this. 
fighting, drinking. Oh, no, it's just me. It's not the answer. Nikki, are you kidding me? If you continue to do things like that, you will never change, and you have to change. You have to, baby, OK? This is so bad. I don't know, baby. Okay, I've, had, I've had situations where I felt the way that you feel. We came here for me, so we'll do this another time, OK? I love you, too. I love you, too, too. No, no, no. Right, love love you. You too. Hey yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube. All right, subscribe, click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe. All right, Straight!